Hello guys and welcome back for a brand new review. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you're gonna subscribe. You can also leave some uh, comments in the comment section down below and of course uh, don't forget to press the like button if you've enjoyed this content. In today's video guys we're gonna have a look at a pair of uh, Reebok shoes. Let's go ahead and uh, take them out of the box guys okay guys so in today's video we're gonna have a look at the Reebok classic leather legacy A to Z This a new version of the classic leather guys was released unfortunately a few months back but for some reason uh, I've totally forgot about them I've realized just uh, the other day when I was uh, doing uh, some cleaning in my boxes so uh, I'm really uh, sorry that uh, this one is coming so late but you know the saying it's uh, better late than never so this one was released for the same price as the classic leather legacy which I actually have it here so the price was 75 pounds which is actually making it a very affordable shoe with very good materials so uh, this one uh, it's actually available now on the Reebok site in a staggering uh, 14 color combination so if you are uh, slightly a bit pickier uh, when it comes to the color combination uh, most definitely you have where to choose from so let's go ahead and do a breakdown of this shoe guys as you can see starting here at the front of the shoe covering the front uh, part of the toe bow section we're gonna have this uh, cream um, suede which is actually quite hairy and it's very nice and soft of course we're gonna have uh, the same material uh, here at the eyelets and of course uh, it will be part of this uh, Reebok uh, logo here on uh, both sides and we shouldn't forget that we're gonna have also the top part of the tongue in the same uh, hairy uh, uh, cream suede and here covering the actual toe box section guys we're gonna have this uh, nylon material which is actually a bit better than uh, the previous uh, year's model where uh, you had this uh, very I would say cheap version but this one has a, a very nice uh, a texture as you can see here of course uh, for the other uh, color combinations uh, you'll receive also a material like this but for some reason for this one they decided to use one which is slightly better and going uh, towards the lacing system guys just underneath this uh, cream uh, suede we're gonna have some uh, synthetic leather in this uh, green color which as you can see here on the side it also has the Reebok uh, lettering and logo going to the actual midfoot guys you can see that on the lateral side and also on the medial side we're gonna have this logo which is made out of this uh, cream suede and uh, synthetic uh, green uh, leather and this one uh, will give uh, a very nice contrast of course uh, all of these materials will actually sit on top of this uh, mesh material as in for the laces guys we're gonna have this uh, flat uh, thin ones in this uh, cream color and just under need these laces we're gonna have this um, nylon uh, mesh uh, material which is actually the same like this one we also gonna have some perforation holes as you can see here and the top part will have this uh, suede again now we we'll need to add that the actual padding on this uh, tongue it's actually quite a good one as you can see we have some uh, exposed foam here but on top of it we'll have this nylon and cream suede and on the other side we're gonna have a very nice uh, soft lining which takes us uh, inside where you're gonna have this uh, white lining uh, all around and uh, as you can see here on one side uh, we have this uh, lettering saying that this uh, shoe was made with uh, at least 30% uh, recycled material and they are referring to this upper so uh, I uh, need to add that this uh, padding uh, inside uh, for the heel and ankle section it's actually quite good 
We also are gonna have this uh, foam uh, blue insole which also has this uh, Reebok uh, logo in this white color. And now guys as we get uh, to the heel section you can see that we're gonna have a mix of uh, materials. So uh, underneath we're gonna have this uh, synthetic um, off-white leather which on top of it will have this uh, heel support uh, made out of this uh, TPU plastic in this uh, cream color. So this one uh, it's actually something new comparing to the last year's model which uh, just had some uh, suede and uh, synthetic leather so they decided to put this uh, uh, heel support here which in my opinion looks uh, very nice it makes it uh, look uh, sporty and vintage in the same time. And just at the back of the heel section guys you can see that we're gonna have this uh, synthetic leather in this green color and on top of it we're gonna have this uh, very soft uh, a cream leather which will also have this Reebok lettering and now guys we're gonna go to this uh, EVA midsole which is actually the same material as the last year's one but as you can see this one it's um, not so high as this uh, previous one so uh, this one it's actually quite comfortable it has a, a very uh, simple uh, design as you can see but it's also a bit longer than the actual shoe so this one as you can see it has a, a very interesting shape here at the back and now guys we're gonna finish with this uh, rubber outsole in this white color which as you can see has some cutouts and we're gonna have this EVA exposed we're also gonna have the Reebok lettering here at the heel section as in for the actual sizing guys for this one I went with my uh, true to size and I feel that this one it's embracing quite nicely my uh, foot and it's giving me a very nice support overall and I guess it will be the same for uh, people which have normal feet but uh, just in case you have wider feet I would suggest you to go with a half size up and that will be mainly because this uh, whole uh, shoe it's actually not so wide. So overall guys uh, I'm really impressed with this uh, new improvement for the classic leather legacy. Of course this one will not uh, replace uh, the last year's model which I have here so this one you can still uh, find it on their website uh, and I guess they are uh, going for roughly the same price and for this one uh, again you have a lot of color combinations uh, I'm not entirely sure how many but I know for sure this one has uh, altogether 14 which is a lot and I will need to add that uh, these uh, materials uh, used throughout they are actually quite premium I really feel that uh, the overall uh, shoe it's actually a very good one giving that uh, we need to pay just 75 pounds so uh, yeah guys this was my unboxing and reviewing of this uh, classic leather legacy a to z really hope uh, you've enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also leave some uh, comments in the comment section down below and as always i will see you in my next one thanks for watching